Hi friends, I would like to share with you how to install Stable Diffusion on your computer so you can generate AI images for free. And I'm going to include an instruction how to use a built-in upscaler into Stable Diffusion. Uh, this tutorial is made for PC, so if you have uh, Windows, it, this is going to work on your computer. So first of all, please go to my website, chris.art um, slash helpers. And I made this document, Install Stable Diffusion Locally, to generate AI images for free with free upscaler PC version uh, for you. So it will be a bit easier for you to follow the tutorial. So first of all, make sure you check your computer and that you have a powerful enough uh, graphic card. So for stable diffusion to run, you need at least four gigabytes video memory VRAM and a video card that supports uh, CUDA technology. So this is uh, on my website, you can find this link. This is a great article with photographs, how to check um, how much video memory you have. And then you will also know um, what kind of graphic card you have. So you can go to Wikipedia and look if um, your graphic card supports CUDA. So please check this before starting because it will be very sad to follow the steps and then if it doesn't work. Uh, also, 4 gigabytes is an absolute minimum. It means that it will run really slowly if you have just 4 gigabytes. 6 gigabytes is much better and the more video memory ha you have, the faster it will uh, run and also the bigger photographs pictures, I mean images, <laughs> you'll be able to generate. So um, I assume you checked everything and we can start. So first of all, go to step one and download Git for Windows. Um, you just press this link and press download. This is something called a command line and don't worry if you've never ever written a, even a line of code. You don't have to be a programmer. I am actually not a programmer at the moment. I haven't been programming for almost 10 years. Um, so it shall not stop you. We will only write a couple of lines of code and I will instruct you how to do it. So press this and it will start installation. Press yes. Also, make sure you are in admin mode um, on your computer. You, you do need to have rights to install uh, applications. And now press next. Um, yeah, hope you have free disk space. Press next. Here, uncheck Windows Explorer integration. You don't need this. And press next. And everything else just leave uh, by default. Press next until install. And now it's going to install. And while this is happening, uh, you can you can wait a little bit because it's usually pretty fast. And here we are. We don't need to view release notes, but let's press launch git bash. And this is git bash. Uh, don't be scared. This is where we are going to write a couple of lines of code. And don't you worry, I made sure it's going to be not so hard. So now you can go back and actually read what we need to do. We will create a folder on your computer on C drive. So let's just go to your C drive. And here, when you create a folder, I named it SD to make it short because you will have to write this name in your git bash and the shorter it is, the easier it is to write and not to make mistakes. So then we will need to write this line of code. 
So you can either copy this or you can just copy this and then go to git bash. Git bash doesn't really work with control C, control V. So you just need to press right button of your mouse and paste and here it is and then press press enter so what happened here is we are now in this folder this is like we moved we changed di directory and we are now in this folder and now you can minimize it don't close it and we are going to our next step which is creating an account at github so if you don't have an account at github go to sign up and i'll be honest with you it's a little bit <laughs> tedious because they ask you for um, if you are not a robot and stuff like that but i'm sure you can do it i already have a github account for many years since i actually was um, doing programming last time i told you it was 10 years ago but i don't think it was 10 years ago i think it was a little bit early um, like maybe five years ago um, but here we are just sign in to github and when you are in github when you create an account and you came in then you can press this link number five and it will take you to this automatic 1111 and here you are going to code select this make sure this is selected and press this button and it says copy it and now go back to your uh, git bash and write a line of code it's git space clone and then again, use your mouth and press right click and paste and now press enter. So now the cloning is happening. And if you will go to that SD folder that we just created, you'll see stable diffusion web UI. And this is a great, this is amazing because this is the user interface we are going to use and just before we use it we need to do a few more things if you go back to my website of course i made it a little bit easier for you and this is this line git clone and this link but the reason i showed you the whole process was because just in case automatic that's the user who created the stable diffusion web ui just in case he changes the name uh, of his link you will know how to go to that place and copy and just make this so i hope that <laughs> that helped so now we only need to do actually a couple of things before we can uh, install stable diffusion we need to download the latest stable diffusion model and for this you need to go to hugging face again make a profile i already have a profile so i'm logged in this shall be much easier than github account much less uh, time to make one and when you create an account and log, log in into it, you can press this link and it will take you here. So if this is your first time at Hugging Face, you will see it will have um, a window to accept a license agreement. Just accept it. I've already been here before, so I've done it. So all we need to do is find this um, ckpt file and just press on it and it will start downloading it will take some time to download so uh, i would recommend you to just leave your computer for now uh, sometimes i do try to do too many things and the computer just freezes and i don't think that's a good idea so i will just leave you until this is downloaded All right, so your model is now downloaded and what you need to do is uh, show in folder 
and just make sure this is the size of it four gigabytes with like something else the reason why is that often it gets interrupted for some reason maybe you don't have a good connection or something happened with the server and sometimes it wouldn't download the whole thing but sometimes it would still write it this way so do avoid it just make sure this is the size and this is the model like you can see there is one over here it's just because i downloaded it before but yours will be without this one with brackets so now you can just copy this copy and go back to your c and to sd stable diffusion web ui and this is models not modules but models and here there will be two folders that you choose stable diffusion and it says put stable diffusion checkpoints here and this is where you put this uh, folder and it will take some time to um, down to upload it here so and then you can go back to my website and here we are we are on step uh, face restoration so there is one more thing we need to download we already have a github account so we're just going to click here and here you just need to scroll all the way down and find this model it's just a very cool thing to, to be able to re to do face restoration and this is the file format it has and again we'll just wait this is rather quick and we will go show it folder and now we'll just copy this go back to C SD stable diffusion web UI and here we will just paste it uh, to the root just over here is fine so now only one step is left until we can um, we can actually start installing stable diffusion so and this step is download python python is a programming language but don't worry you will not have to code anything you can just follow this link you just need to install it and choose the version of your um, windows of your operating system again if you don't know your uh, how many bits you have it, usually it's 64 but you can google how to find out about it it's 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 rather straightforward where to look on your computer for this information and then you, as soon as it downloads you just click on it and here we will select add python to path and install now uh, admin uh, rights so being logged in as an admin is very important here and then just let it install and you do need to wait until all of this is complete until doing the next step which is yeah make sure this is complete so now we are at this step which is actually running stable diffusion web ui and this is going to be a bit time consuming so you will just have to leave your computer for maybe 40 minutes to an hour and now be quite careful because there are two uh, files this is this file web ui this is not the file you need you need web ui user and it says window batch file if your folder doesn't look like this go to view and make sure it's details then web UI user windows batch file what is going to happen now I'm going to click this and this is this window is going to open and this is going as I said this is going to take about 
40 minutes or an hour depending how powerful your computer is it will say installing torch and torch vision and it may stay like this for a while if you accidentally click on the window it will pause and you will not even know about it so if after about i don't know 20 minutes or 30 minutes nothing happens what you need to do is move your mouse to this window just move move around the cursor and then press enter this will resume it it, it happens sometimes it's a little bit tricky in this way uh, that it doesn't show you too many things but if you don't touch it if you just leave it alone don't do anything on, on your computer while this is happening um, it will install it will install and you will know that it's finished because you will see something called an IP address um, I'm going to pause the video and I will get back to you when this whole thing installs and I will show you what IP address is everything is working if you have this um, URL and you can press Control C and then open a new and Control V and here we are we are in a stable diffusion a graphic un interface which is absolutely great and depending on your uh, computer and how powerful it is you may have um, 512 by 512 or if your computer is not very powerful it may be just 64 by 64 but don't worry we will be able to use something called upscaler and to do that let's first go to settings folder and let's select all of this upscalers and then press apply settings and it requires a restart so please um, close this and also close this and I know <laughs> we were so close but here we are we are back to stable diffusion folder and we will run web UI user again make sure it's web UI user not web UI um, and we will just wait this time it's going to be much faster it will only take i don't know maybe a minute and then we will be able to use it and also use those amazing free upscalers if you do have something like topaz gigapixel please use it it's an amazing upscaler but if you don't those free upscalers are just amazing so we copy Control c and then again we go to browser Control v enter and here we are if you go to extras you will see this many 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 upscalers but first let's write our first prompt a beautiful tree in Central Park cinematic light um, sunset God's rays maybe I'll add Unreal Engine I do tend to add Unreal Engine because it usually makes things look more realistic because it's something that computer games use a lot um, also here you can um, increase batch count like four images at a time you can increase sampling steps but depending on your computer i would say 50 or 100 is a good number but it will take longer and if your computer isn't very powerful then just leave it as it is and i would just press generate and see what happens um, there are other parameters like seed you can change it to get uh, different images 
and I'm going to make another tutorial where I explore different features of stable diffusion but I just thought I will show you just a little bit uh, for you to be able to start oh I like lots of them I think this one I like the most so if you want to enlarge it upscale it we will go to send to extras and here I think my favorite upscaler is this R stands for real and it is better than those like basic upscalers and you can also resize I usually like resize it, it by, by two and generate and here it is and it's rather good result and again you may be wondering like how to get photorealistic options well first you can um, increase sampling steps and also you can you can use those websites i include with this uh, tutorial uh, with different amazing prompts and you can try those here um, and just experiment with it um, i really hope this was useful um, just one thing before uh, just one thing before we wrap up to save this image you can just right click and save image as and save it somewhere um, like I don't know tree but if you if you forgot to save actually all of your files are saved automatically in your stable diffusion folder in outputs in um, text to image images here are all the images um, i experimented a little bit so i have more images here uh, but this is where the, those are and I hope you'll enjoy playing with it and hope this was useful. If you have any problems, please feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to help.